Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to take a look at the Refine Edges command, which is really useful when you have a selection that you want to tweak. Let's see how it works. I've got a photo here with some large areas of color, and what I want to do is select the green in the boat here, and then make an isolated adjustment. Let's go ahead and choose Select, Color Range, make sure the Localized Color Clusters option is checked, and click on the boat to make the first selection. You can then hold down the Shift key and drag through to select more of that area, and that's done a pretty good job. Now you can tweak fuzziness as needed to pick up more or less. If you go too far, you'll start to pick up parts of the other boats. So that looks pretty good there. And I'm going to experiment and see if I can actually get the green in the water there. And we did a good job there. Notice it picked up the green reflection of the boat as well. Now that's gone pretty well. I'm going to click OK. And you see we have an initial selection. Now we have a few stray pixels up here as well, so what I want to do is actually refine this. Pick a selection tool like Marquee, and then choose Refine Edge. This allows you to see exactly what you're getting, and you have options here with Refine Edge, like looking at it over white or over black. This is the black and white mask. Here's the object itself on black. Here it is in a quick mask type view, and you really get an idea of what's going on. Now, let's go and take a look at this over white. With our settings here, we could play with a few things like radius to adjust and actually get a little bit of a better edge in those soft transition areas. We could then play with contrast, which will tighten up the edges, making them a little bit crisper. Smooth will round out any sharp corners, creating a gentler selection and that did a pretty good job, but I'm going to back that off a bit. Now, Feather makes a very gradual selection, and you generally don't want to feather too much or it won't look believable. And lastly, we have the ability to expand the selection so it's bigger or contract it. Let's leave it on expand, but feather it just a bit. There we go, we've done a great job selecting that green we now can make an isolated adjustment using that selection. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and we now have an active selection, and then add a hue saturation adjustment layer. There we have it, and let's just roll the hue, making that boat greener or bluer. And what I'm doing is pushing it towards a blue that will match the blue at the top of the cabin here. A little more saturated, And there you have it. Not only have we actually changed the color of the boat, but also its reflection. By using that Refine Edge command, you can get precisely a great preview of what it is you're selecting, and then make a very targeted color adjustment. Now, we're going to explore lots of color adjustments in our upcoming episodes, and I hope you found this tip useful. My name's Rich Harrington. We've got more than 100 video tips on our website at rastervector.com. I invite you to check them out. While you're there, I'd appreciate it if you take a look at our brand new book, Understanding Adobe Photoshop CS4 from Peach Pit Press. You can use the discount code UAP2 over at peachpit.com to take 35% off. Thanks again for supporting our podcast. Be sure to check us out online. We'll see you next week.